Let's take a look at this DAX Vito wallet. I found this at Vita People in Singapore. The wallet with a trick up its sleeve. A project brought to life through Kickstarter. Color code is Mars. That's how the wallet looks. Opens up like that. It has a anti-fray microfiber material. Straightener. More uh, consistent uh, cascading. Sleeker and uh, slimless construction. Product care. Immediately wiped out of fabric with a damp cloth to prevent staining. Made in China. Main pocket holds up to five cards. Back pocket holds one card or a folded notes. Costs around a thousand rupees or a fourteen dollars or so. So let's see what do we get. That's how the wallet looks. Very sleek design. Those are the five cards. It is easy to take them out and uh, put them back in. Once you're done, just push it back. It's brand new, that's why it's a bit stiffer, but as you use it, it should get a bit easier to do that. Small pocket on the back, where you can uh, put one more card, or a currency, or a notes. Really sleek design, and uh, not too thick. will definitely get a bit looser once you start using it. Really minimal design and it's made out of uh, fabric. This is the microfiber one. That is a leather one too. Quite nice. Check it out. Let's take a look at this Tarami orange jelly with orange pieces. It's a Japanese product. Mm. Interesting packaging. Costs around uh, 150 rupees or uh, two dollars or so. Ingredients are uh, oranges, sugar, fructose, glucose, liquid sugar, apple juice syrup, agar, liqueur, gelling agent, acidulant, antioxidants and uh, vitamin C and uh, flavoring you actually get real orange pieces fun to move it around looks amazing so let's taste it It's really fun to scoop each of those pieces with some jelly. Really amazing texture. The jelly is soft and the orange gives it a very unique texture. Jelly is 
quite light and uh, very lightly sweetened. Jelly makes the orange taste really amazing and the orange texture makes the jelly taste very unique. Really nice combination and it's really fun to eat scooping each one of those pieces quite nice check it out let's take a look at these uh, interesting paper clips these are a set of three molecular uh, paper clips by neuroplanner i found these interesting paper clips at a uh, with the people this costs around uh, 250 rupees or uh, four dollars or so quite a fun idea to make the chemical compounds of this substance into paper clips this is serotonin dopamine and uh, adrenaline that's how the adrenaline one looks and uh, this is how the chemical compound actually looks and uh, this is the dopamine one and uh, that's how the chemical compound looks and this is the serotonin one that's how the chemical compound looks let's see how these work as a paper clips it works quite well quite nice check it out let's take a look at this Yamazaki three color dango looks like the emoji these are uh, Japanese dumplings ingredients are uh, sugar superb new powder or uh, rice starch sorbit glycine pH adjuster coloring and uh, enzymes costs around uh, 150 rupees or uh, two dollars or so you get three of them has a gooey texture to it looks quite colorful tastes like a sweet bun more uh, gooey all of them have the same flavor just different colors it's all about the texture though very gooey and uh, chewy has very little sugar quite fun to eat not as soft as the mochi quite nice check it out let's take a look at uh, my finances this is how much i earned in uh, may this is mostly thanks to the compilations after the compilation videos it has gone up quite a bit in January it was around uh, this much I also earn a little bit from my Patreon this is the amount for uh, May I share all the business side of YouTube on a uh, Patreon if you are interested or if you just want to support me you can join the Patreon this is how much I spent for a month of May making videos and uh, this is the profit all the profit goes back into making more videos at the end of may i went for a five day trip to singapore all this profit goes back to paying for uh, more trips now you can see that uh, i can easily pay for all my videos from youtube so i don't need to put any of my own money i've been profitable since the day i started making youtube I only make as much as YouTube gave me so I was never uh, spending more than I was getting 
so i was always profitable so how do i pay for my daily expenses i own a three story building i stay on the third floor and i rent out both the floors below and i make about a uh, this much that's per year and my home expenses are around uh, this much so i can easily pay that and uh, still have a little bit of money left over so i really don't need my youtube income to pay for my daily expenses youtube is getting really good now hopefully once i pay off my credit card bills i can start taking a little bit of money from youtube in a couple of months so that's the financial stuff again uh, i won't be sharing this every month this is a one off thing if you want to get this information every month you can uh, support me on patreon where i share these details and uh, one more thing i inherited the property from my dad so it was not uh, my own i worked on it a little bit to convert it into a rental i could earn more money if i do some kind of job but i chose not to which allows me to try out all these hobbies so i'm really grateful uh, for uh, having this and uh, there isn't a day i thank my dad for uh, giving me this privilege honesty that's something i really cherish that's why i never use clickbait thumbnails or uh, titles in a way my thumbnails and uh, titles are kind of boring and uh, that's not a really good way to grow the channel but i like the honesty in it same with the products i review i would definitely get more views if i am more critical i try to be mostly positive it's also one of the reasons for uh, starting youtube try to put something positive out there rather than uh, being too negative that's why you don't see a lot of negative stuff from me i have a music playlist where i occasionally add songs i like after uh, rewatching this movie i'm uh, in love with this song again i have listened it quite a lot in the past few weeks that's my passport uh, the only country i've been to is singapore and i've been there uh, three times i could have easily visited uh, other countries i guess i love singapore way too much thank you for uh, watching the videos because of you i can make all these uh, interesting videos and uh, have all these interesting experiences so thank you for watching quite nice check it out let's take a look at these uh, sapphire almonds almonds covered with the uh, creamy milk chocolate come in this interesting shaped uh, tin costs around uh, 120 rupees or uh, two dollars or so almonds covered with uh, creamy milk chocos ingredients are uh, sugar refined palm kernel fat milk solids almonds cocoa powder hazel paste edible glaze emulsifier permitted uh, natural antioxidants contains added flavor vanilla these are manufactured in uh, haryana india has about 520 calories these are made by durga overseas private limited quite a beautiful packaging really like the tin idea So let's taste it. This is what we get. The 
that's how it looks. You get quite a bit of chocolate with the almond. Really nice combination. Almond gives the crunchiness and uh, that uh, rich flavor. Chocolate has a sweet and uh, smooth texture. Really tasty choco almonds. Quite nice. Check it out. Let's take a look at this Shinkansen candy. If you don't know, Shinkansen is the name for a Japanese bullet train. And these are some of their uh, mascots. This is a candy and a music toy. Costs around uh, 120 rupees or uh, 2 dollars or so. Right on track. Train travel is stops. And um, looks like you can make uh, four different sounds with it. It's Sanrio licensed. I think that's the name of it. Tanoshi Yokobe. Ingredients are uh, sugar, dextrose, starch, thickener, Arabic gum, acidulant, shellac, colors, and uh, it's a product of Japan. So let's taste it and uh, hear it. Looks like some of the candy is melted a bit. To get to the candy, you just remove this. And that's the candy. They are flavored uh, sugar balls. I'm really more curious about the sounds though than the candy. And these are the four uh, bullet trains or uh, Shinkansen. So let's see how they sound. Sounds quite fun. And once you're done with the candy, you can even carry this on your uh, keychain. Quite a fun looking toy. Quite nice. Check it out. Let's take a look at this peanut juices. We have uh, orange, grape and uh, guava. Each of them with a uh, pulp. Really pretty looking cans squeezed from real juice not from concentrate that's what nfc means ingredients are water orange juice 30 percent and a pulp sugar citric acid as boric acid artificial orange flavor sucralose artificial color and manufactured in vietnam has about 40 calories so let's taste it that's how it looks let's taste it nice and tasty orange juice with really tiny pulp pieces so really tasty this is the grape one similar ingredients each of these costs around uh, 40 rupees or uh, 80 cents or so so let's taste it that's how it looks really nice grape flavor a bit on the sweeter side tastes amazing with those are tiny pulp pieces this is 
guava with pulp similar ingredients and even a similar color to the grape so let's taste it nice guava flavor it's got a thick juice too I think the orange one was the best second one is the grape and the guava grape would have been the first one if it had a little less sugar yeah. really good flavors though quite nice check it out let's take a look at this we the people store the best of crowdfunding bringing you the best from kickstarter this is such a brilliant idea where they sell popular stuff from kickstarter they have info about uh, how much it raised and the price They had some really interesting products. Like this interesting light. These foldable sunglasses. And this interesting bottle. and this smartphone controlled uh, clicker which converts any regular switch into a smart switch quite a clever idea that's how it works easy to take your cards out and uh, quite tiny they had a lot more stuff in there. I got few products to review. Quite nice. Check it out. Let's take a look at this Triol Yuzu Pepper chocolate. Each of them costs around 50 rupees or 80 cents or so. Very unique. I think the pepper has a greenish color to it comes in this interesting packaging it's made in Japan so let's taste it that's how the chocolate looks that's how the wrapper looks and you can see a bowl of pepper has around uh, 52 calories tastes really good you get a peppery dark chocolate you get a nice chocolate flavor with a peppery aftertaste it's a mildly flavored uh, pepper taste not too strong goes really well with the dark chocolate though quite tasty quite nice check it out let's take a look at this handy fan this is by D Homes costs around 299 rupees or 5 dollars or so brushless motor long lifetime That's how it looks. Those are some of the features. It has a rechargeable battery. 4 hours at a medium speed. Takes 4 to 6 hours to charge.
that's the manual. That's how it looks. It has uh, three different speeds and one light to charge it up. That's one, two, three. It can also stand and to charge it you use the mini USB which is quite a clever idea. That way they don't have to supply the charger. Any phone charger won't be fine. And you can even uh, replace the battery by removing this cover. You can even replace the rechargeable battery. I haven't seen these though. Now my fans are uh, handy. Quite nice. Check it out. Let's take a look at this spiral. It's Bali spiral. Delicious choco base filled with choco cream and a soft Swiss roll. Nice pun there. Spiral or a spiral or is it spy roll? Beautiful packaging. costs around uh, 15 rupees or uh, 30 cents or so cake roll with chocolate layers that's the ingredient list has about 110 calories manufactured in uh, Pune, India that's the manufacturing date good for uh, 4 months So let's taste it. That's how it looks. Pretty spot on. So let's taste it. Really moist and uh, soft cake. And the choco cream is really thick. Makes it a uh, Quite delicious, quite nice, check it out.